But I know this being the beginning of the season, I'm quite sure you fellas would have like shot around and I can always come back next week. I hope you've got a good lawyer in them pockets of yours, motor mom. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy listening to Daniel Tosh to get you guys some footage of this, but I'm making space for another car. Okay, just about. Got a lot of organizing to do, but you know, it's, it's progress. Considering where we started a week ago. Hey, calm down, Tubbs. Calm down. I will not calm down. Machine guns affect my ability to perform, and I don't like that. I just dropped off the drive shafts and now I'm here for the first time at High Performance Auto in Torrance and I'm going to be asking about the steering components. This is Manyango's car. Kind of cool seeing it here. Look at all of these old Volvos. Amazing. Blue 242, just like the one I had. 122, 122, 122, 240, 544, 1800, 1800, 1800, 1800, 240, 240, 240, 260, turbo, 242. And what is that, a 142? This one's cool, huh? Cool stuff. Now well, we got some information, we can take this and move forward with it, so. <sighs> Custom work, it's tough. Wow, that T5R though, what a color. There's a dog? Yeah. Yellow wagon here. I need to get up on top of this truck. Fresh rebuilds. These were the same ones I sent out and they look pretty good. I mean, there's not much you can tell about it. Besides a little bit of powder coating and a little bit of chewing up on the plastic end of that nipple there, but... Mm. Surface rust. Yeah, not much to report, but it looks good. booster out, I can now change the clutch cable. Look at that nasty thing.
I did a little spritz of the paint just to see how it's gonna sit. And look at this. If you look at the of the light right here. All right, this is color 111. Just a quick spritz here. Okay, now it's looking really beautiful. Light blue metallic, but this is why you wanna wear a respirator. Look at the particles of paint here. Those are all metallic flakes in the air. So you really wanna be wearing a respirator with this kind of stuff. Beautiful Chrysler. Oh, sad. And then another coupe. Ah, sad. And you. Ah, sad. Why are these poor cars here, man? All right. Oh, this is a 75. It's got the six panel taillights. Really big boys on these. Um, we're here for bits and bobs. You know, I've got a lamp at home. They could use one of these seven and a half pound base weights. So. It'd be actually very useful for me. A couple other things, the uh, trim pieces around the door handles. We could use the windshield trim, which is super rusty. Look at that, yikes. This whole panel here is flexing. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough day. I need the clips that hold the windshield in place. That's gonna beat up my hands pretty good. Oh, devastating. I need the brackets for the bumper because mine are crooked. And the bumper's not in bad shape either. I might take the license plate frame I should leave the bumper. I don't know. It depends on their prices. Yeah, everything's kind of unkind when it comes to junkyard prices. The trim around the fenders is in remarkable shape, too. Huh. Maybe I'll pull those off. Not that one. Mm -mm. So, good old bits and bobs we've got. Yeah. Sad. Let's see what the interior is like. Oh, it's pretty sun-beaten. This car has been left for a long time. And... I really don't know what that is. It looks like a cover plate for an ECU, but it also looks like a license plate size. This being a 75, the parking brake is in the middle, the center console, and it's got like a 240 style seats. Really interesting pattern on these, huh? Let's get the number. I always like to update the registries when I go and see uh, 164 at the junkyard. Oh, this one's on the A pillar. Yep, it was built in August of 75. <laughs> this is one of the latest incarnations of the 164. Chassis number 150,000. Wowza. Look at that. That's a trim piece I need. This one's in bad shape though. Mm, it was the ECU cover after all. It's a shame somebody broke it trying to get it out. And a mirror. You see how the paper inside falls off the glass. It becomes kind of useless as well. 
Sometimes people hide things in the back seats of junkyard cars, but today all we get is just whitey tighties. Ugh, rat's nests. Gotta take it easy with this one. Look at this interior upholstery. That can't be original. It doesn't feel old like the rest of the car, but it does look really kind of neat. It's plush. Take some photos. And we have brown door panels. Yeah, everything's brown. Oh, good. Found a horn. Yeah. Interesting how the center speaker cover here is, my goodness, largely intact. It's probably warped, looks a little, no, looks fine. Add that to the list. I'll report back with my progress. Good news is the clips weren't so, uh, uh, the good news is the trim wasn't so hard to remove. The bad news, these clips are in really bad shape. I just think I'm gonna probably get three at the end that are not completely rusted. Try to seal them up, repaint them, all that goodness. They're just out of order. They're out of stock. Nobody's got them used or new, nothing. One and a half, two, three, four, five, and another half. Okay, so we got five and two halves. Of clips available. No, do we want to count this one? If I'm really desperate. And it looks like uh, the easiest thing to do is take a flat head, put the clip in place like so. Okay. I would run the screwdriver for the very edge and just tap, 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 tap all the way down to break out the paint and everything that was holding it in place. And then I would dig in the middle and pop, pop, pop inside when it goes in about that far and pull it out and then it would wiggle the clip out, bada boom. You can also pry from these corners here and here to push this clip out. Hope that makes sense. We have windshield clips, so. Uh, I hope I didn't throw away my old ones too. Visor clips are good in here. We'll take those and make our way to the door handles. etc. A simple 68, 140. It's actually a 142. It's got a nice grill too. I wonder if anybody needs this grill. Maybe I should grab it. It's practically perfect. Yeah, I think so. Usually they're kind of knackered, huh? All right, well, that's, that's our final car for the day. Just a few pieces left, but I got like 15 minutes before I gotta roll out of here. And it's nice to appreciate Whatever Volvo condition this is in. Wow, look at that dashboard, huh? That thing got hot. 221,000 miles on the clock. The 164 had half of that. And it just looks like this was a storage for all the other hoarders around, putting non-Volvo parts in here while they figure out what they want and where to hide it, like uh, hubcaps from a Fiat. Um, don't know what that door skin's from, looks like. Maybe that 56 link in here? This big old thing, jeez. Oh, 57. Yeah, huge American cars and then tiny little Swedes. Okay, trunk's full of junk. They kept the headlights and the hood trim though, that's nice. Oh. Back windshield trim is actually in pretty good shape. I don't need it, but maybe I could take it. We'll see. Window frames are good. Front windshield trim also in okay shape, but there's a dent. Okay, are you the guy? Sure, looks like it. Easy peasy. Look how full my shopping cart is. Yeah, this car's been here three months. It's about ready to get scrapped, so I'm glad I could pull a few more things off of it. First time seeing it, and I'm glad they're still intact. Sad to see these things going, though. Right, here's the number we need. There's that. There's that.
Our first EV item is in place. Yeah, I know, after all of this time, this pedal, I needed it to sit more or less up against these failures here. 